load of cogs of council to move when actually you just want to get something done. Um, from my own ward, there's something that I would actually like to add on as 1.4 on this. Um, and I really actually like that it would probably be perfectly self explanatory given that you said yourself about open door. Uh, and so I'd like to add on at 1.4 that the AR and G committee um, agree for officers to begin negotiations and the legal work required for free and voluntary community library to be granted a 10 year lease so that the um, that once the asset plan has been complete, hopefully we could be at the stage where all we need to do is have the lease signed. Um, my worry is, is that when we look at the deadline and unforeseen things where things can get slippage as to when the asset plan is actually finalised, um, I think it would be probably irresponsible of us to wait for that stage given that there seems to be an agreement that yes, the library is going to, to get this lease. So I would like to make that as 1.4 something we can all agree to, so that it gives the authority to officers to actually start the process, figure everything out and whatever has to be signed, so that when we get to that date when the plan is signed, we will all know that it will just need a signature. We won't then need to start from scratch. And that will put an awful lot of minds at rest, especially given the outstanding grants, as you know, that the library cannot yet access until it's got a longer lease. And even if we can tell the people that are willing to give the library money, look, this is in progress. We've now got an end date in sight. It will go an awful long way towards it. So if I want to do that again, I'd like to add 1.4 to that to say that the ARMG committee agree for officers to begin the negotiations and legal work required for Free and Barnet Library, Community Library, to be granted a 10-year lease so that once the asset plan is complete, the lease can be signed. Not the 10 year bit to start with, and I'd like to just leave it that we in or I will support uh, 1.4 that instructs officers to begin negotiations with a view to granting a lease or a license in when the asset, when the asset scheme is done. So I'd just like to be careful about the 10 years because I, I don't know whether that will actually suit the library people or not. Well, I think so. I'll be willing to negotiate that at this point so long as we can put something on because apparently the organisations that are holding back on the money that the library knows it can access once it's got a long release, there's certainly, and I couldn't tell you what the minimum is, but well, there is a minimum that is required of a lease that has to be granted for that money to be able to be accessed. So, okay. when we bother for two years, five years? No, no, I think it's done. I know, to be honest, I don't want to be able to say I want them to have a lease. I know you want to have a lease, but we can't, we can't access and get the money unless we know that that lease exceeds a certain length of time. That's it. Nice. Um, Leader, Lee, Lee, I don't think we can, before we even um, start consulting on a strategy, um, on how we manage our assets, pick one asset out of many and, and then sort of give it special terms or, or, or instructions. I think we have to do the strategy first and, and then we have to, and it's that strategy will outline how we treat all assets and, and I think what you've, you've suggested is, is, is probably a, a compromise. But I, I think we need to be careful here because there'll be other groups also wanting um, you know, a, 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 a lease uh, as a, a complications ironed out now. I think we have to treat the strategy first and then individual buildings come then. And I think we're talking about the step of time frame. So we're not talking a long time. I'd also like to see from any group say they're losing money, etc. And, and I'm not saying I don't believe that, but it would be also useful to, as in those negotiations, to have proof of all this money that apparently they are losing. Um, yes, if I can just suggest a way forward with this, that we instruct officers to commence negotiations, but obviously it can't be agreed until the strategy has been considered and decided. But I think it would reassure reassure the library folk that the talk was actually yes. beginning and that there was a realistic a realistic deadline. I mean, if we can get a lease this year, I think that'd be fantastic, but I think we certainly need to start negotiating. Well, as far as I know, the lease runs out in May. So we have got a deadline to get this through. And for what we've just discussed previously on the item about the finches, it obviously isn't outside the possibility of the council if they actually want to do something and get the lease done outside of the strategy 
to get it done and dusted. So it's no point saying that we have to wait for a plan to be completed when we've just agreed for the Finches to actually do something. That's just a contradiction in terms. If we go ahead with the negotiations now and find out what the library people want, I think that could be one that could be done in parallel with the government strategy. If we can do with that, I think it is a very high profile case and uh, it would be very nice that uh, this particular library model continues to flourish. Uh, yeah, Neil, I, I agree. I also think that you've got a long-standing group. You can't these apples and pears. You've got one group who's been there for a very long time, very established, uh, and then you've got a newer group. Um, I do. I, I mean, we've promised that we're not going to sell the building, so we know that that's not going to happen. You've also said that, that you, you want the library to be there, so we give as much reassurance as we can. You can't compare the two, in my opinion, um, but I, I do think we should, yes, give some reassurance, but the detail I think should should follow. But the whole, difference, the whole difference is that the library is trying to, as much as possible, be a standalone organisation. Um, and the outstanding, as far as I know, there's three chunks of over 30,000 that we can't access <coughs> until we've got the guarantee of a longer lease. And this is the whole hiccup. We've got some funding in place. We've got the funding to do the disabled toilet. We've got um, other funding in place to hopefully do the kitchen. We, we, at the moment we're getting tenders for that to go through, hopefully in August. But longer term, which is what you know, the people and the willing volunteers and the trustees that are trying to keep this place running, they need the extra security of knowing that the charities that they've approached who have said yes, they will give them funding, but only if they've got a long release. We need to be able to say to the library and say to the people that are willing to give them funding, Yes, that is on the cards, because otherwise it's going to come to the crunch where people are going to think, how close have we got to get to the deadline? And as we said, things in council, sometimes they can move quickly if we want them to. The finch just seems to have been sorted this evening with no problem at all. But if we can't give something towards the library and to make sure that it gives it that security, it will just open again the lack of trust between both the volunteers, the trustees and the council if we can't give them the confidence that not only are we willing to work with them, but we're willing to help them to make sure that this is achieved. Councillor Thomas, sorry, can I just try to persuade Councillor Thomas? Councillor Thomas, it, 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 would you have said that it would be reasonable to discuss with the, oh. with the library people what they want and for officers to, to, to actually basically draw up heads and terms so that as soon as this strategy is settled, we can just get into action and sort this out. Ch Chairman, uh, as I said earlier, that, that I thought we also sort of compromise. I'm just weary again to mention a number of years and all that sort of thing, where, where we all know that leases have lots of other conditions and terms. And I think to talk, start talking about 10 years normally, I think that's that's a step too far. As I said, that, that your, your, your proposal was a compromise. And, and also, it should be realised that a 10-year lease imposes liabilities on the trustees as yeah. well. Yeah. I think that works both ways. So I, I think conversations need to be had and it's all in. We need, there needs to be a okay. proposal to that. Okay, so shall I just reiterate, so what you're suggesting was we should say the ARMG committee agreed for us to begin the negotiations and the legal work required the free and violent community library to be a longer lease so that once the asset plan is complete, the lease can be signed. A long and longer lease, a new lease. I think I think we you know, the, the, the legal advisor is, is, is not in there. I think we need to be very. I think we cannot prejudge negotiations. Mm -hmm. We can't say here this committee as uh, without without negotiations what that lease or the nature of the lease would be. I think a lease. A lease. But the library already has a lease, so that doesn't make sense. In, in which case, the negotiation regarding the lease extension of the lease. But I think any 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 hint that the amount of time is and this goes for all groups, all all leases is at this stage is, is yeah. What what what. what we can't at this, this, this committee surely talk about a certain, a certain amount of heads of terms. I think it needs to be done as, as, a, as a proper negotiation. I, I think we need to stay here for a number of years or longer. I think you've got my point, Chairman. A sustainable lease. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I think that's, that's very good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. May I just point out very briefly that actually this is a long established establishment and has been a library for many, many decades.